today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we're going to go over the Kryon Fusion Primer and Paint. Let's get this thing started. Now I got this stuff to work on brake parts for a 1979 Scout and it has really worked really well. I'm telling you, it doesn't look quite powder coated, but it looks somewhat well done. And it can, and as I'm going to tell you several times in this video, I am not the best painter at all. I'm uh, way too uh, impatient to be a good painter. But this rattle can stuff, I will be using on all my projects in the future. Unless something better comes out. I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is like a professional finish. It is nice. If you're like me and too impatient to actually do a good job painting, and you usually have somebody else take care of it, I have never seen a rattle can do this type of work. I did it on all the brake parts and they looked somewhat powder coated. I mean, it was an even finish, a really glossy finish. And when I messed with it, you know, 30 minutes later, it did not um, smudge or fade a little bit where my fingers touched like most spray paints do. And I've used all sorts of spray paint before. Um, the expensive $8 ceramic type stuff or, but uh, this stuff right here, the Krylon Fusion, if you can get it at Walmart, it's like $4.96 or something. But if you get it at a regular uh, uh, auto parts store, it's going to be like $7 or $8. But uh, this is a very good finish. I'm very happy with it. I will be using this Krylon on all my projects from now on. I'm not sure if you can see it really well in the camera, but after I banged on it with a rubber mallet to get it on the brake hub over the brakes, it still looks really good. And then what I'm gonna use is this Krylon Fusion all in one. It's a primer and a paint. I love this stuff. It makes me, non-crappy painter, look pretty dang professional. Now this Fusion, I've done a video on it. It really makes it look like it's uh, not powder coated, but pretty dang well. Um, makes it almost look powder coated. There she is. Now what I want to do for you today is I want to show you, maybe out in the sun, exactly what this stuff does. That way maybe it's a little bit better light and all that horse. Maybe it's a little bit Maybe it's a little bit better light and all that happy horse stuff. All right. No prep has been done to the post. Or 1967 radiator support um, extension or spacer. I didn't even sand down that radiator support. And I'm only gonna do a little bit of this because one of these days I'll probably use it for something. Let that dry and we'll see how that comes out. This post is looking pretty good there. It's a glossy finish. Of course, I didn't prep it, so it's got a lot of little stuff there. Here, it's a really good finish here. Didn't prep this either, so didn't sand it down or anything. So 
looks really good. Am I getting paid by Cryolon? No, I'm not. I'm just here to tell you hardworking hot rod fans that use spray paint for all sorts of stuff, you can use it and it will look like a professional finish. Thank you and thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, comment down below. And as always, if you ride her hard, don't put her up wet. The Road Hard Roadhouse is sponsored by Speedy's Industrial Coatings in Ozark, Missouri. They do powder coating and blasting and all that type of stuff. Big or small, they do it all. Tell them the Road Hard Roadhouse sent you. <laughs>